Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the different changes that Microsoft is rolling out with Windows 11 build 27,646 in the Canary channel. These changes are not tied to any specific release of Windows, so it isn't clear when they're going to roll out to everyone. Okay, so let's look at the changes for build 27,646. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, so as part of the uh, sandbox experience, the company is adding a new menu in the top right, and that gives us some different options, including full screen. You can also configure the folder that you want to share with the virtual machine. As you can see right here. And perhaps more importantly, you can now control the clipboard redirection from here, as well as the options to attach the audio input and the video input from your computer to the virtual machine. If you don't want to use these features, you can turn them off. However, I will recommend to keep the clipboard redirection on so you can copy stuff from your actual computer and then paste it on the Windows Sandbox experience. Also, it is important to know that moving forward, the Windows Sandbox experience will be updated through the Microsoft Store. Also, Microsoft is making some update to the storage settings. So if we go to the settings app and then we go to storage, and if you have a virtual drive configured on the computer, now if you go to the properties page, you're now going to find an option to detach the, the BHD or BHDX. And even though this is not a significant update, it is important that now we have this option because we have been able to attach virtual disks and even create BHD and BHDX on the settings app for some time now. However, there was not an option to detach a virtual hard drive. In those cases, we needed to use the disk management legacy tool or using commands to detach the volume. So this is an option that it should have been inside of the settings step from day one. Now, as part of the uh, Windows 11 build 27,646, Microsoft is also updating the format tool that is available through File Explorer. And basically, it increases the limit to use the FAT32 file system from 32 gigs to 2 terabytes. You will still have the same limitations to store files of up to 4 gigabytes. However, you will now be able to format larger drives using the FAT32 file system. It is important to note that while the 32 gigabyte limit was part of the format tool, you could still use commands to format drives that are larger than 32 gigabytes. However, you can now do this through the format interface. And finally, as part of the HDR settings, now if you go to settings displayed HDR and then you open the HDR settings, you will now find a new allow HDR video streaming even when HDR is turned off. And if you turn on this feature, HDR will continue to be disabled on the computer. However, if you come across a video that is in HDR, the feature is going to turn on automatically and then turn off when you're no longer watching that specific video. So this is a welcome addition to Windows 11. And that's it. Those are pretty much all the most significant changes that we're going to find on Windows 11, build 27,000. 646 in the Canary channel. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.